Number 89, what volume of a 0.3300 molarity solution of sodium hydroxide would be required to titrate 15.00 mils of a 0.15 molarity oxalic acid? Okay, I see a balanced equation. I'm going to draw it again. <laughs> you guys know me, right? So C2O4 H2 plus 2NaOH. Notice how I'm not putting in the states because I have no time for that. And honestly, no one cares. I don't. No one cares about what the states are when we're doing the math. Fun fact. Okay, so we have this. And I automatically see coefficients in the front, meaning the big numbers, right? So I see like there's a two here, you know, and a two here. So I'm assuming that this is balanced, but you could always just pause the video to just see that this is balanced, but it looks like it's pretty good to go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down all the values and what they're asking for in the question. So they told me that I have 15 mils of a 0.15 molarity oxalic acid. Now, this is sodium hydroxide, right? So if this is the base, this is one of your six strong bases, this should be the acid, right? This is an acid base, basically, equation. This is the acid plus the base gives me a salt and water. So this is oxalic acid. Okay, so we have 15 mils and we have 0 0.1500 molarity. Cool. Now, whoa, what happened there? And I did it again. Okay. Now, they're asking for the volume of 0 0.3300 molarity of the sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is NaOH. So I have 0 0.3300 molarity, and we want to know the volume. Okay. So if this is where the question is stemming from, I want to know the volume of NaOH. I say to myself, okay, how am I going to get here, right? They gave me a molarity. I'm looking for a volume. Is there any formula that goes with molarity and volume. Yeah, you got it, right? It's the molarity formula. I'll put it down on the bottom left. It's molarity equals moles over liters. Now, just for simplicity of this video, I'm just going to rearrange this so that it's liters equals, right? And liter is a volume. You don't have to do it. You could just cross multiply when you put in your numbers. You'll get the same answer regardless. But in this case, I'm just going to change it up. This is the same thing as saying liters equals moles divided by molarity. Cool. Now, we're looking for the volume, aka the liters. They told me the molarity, so I know this number down here. This is 0 0.3300. But the thing is, is that they didn't tell me how many moles of the sodium hydroxide I have. So I have to find that. That's why they gave me the information of the acid. But looky here, guys. They gave me a molarity of this. They gave me a volume. So what's the formula that I'm going to use again? Yeah, molarity equals mils, uh, moles over liters, right? Because that way, remember, the only way that you can convert from one compound to another is through the unit of moles. So I have to find out the moles of the oxalic acid. So... If I say molarity equals moles over liters, and if I just simplify this to get what I want, I need to get moles, right? This would basically be the same thing as moles equals molarity times liter, right? The only problem is that they gave this in milliliters to me. So I have to first convert this into liters. The formula is specifically for liters. How do you go from mils to liters? Yeah, you divide by 1,000, or you can move the decimal over three spots to the left. So this would be the same thing as saying 0 0.01500, right? Yeah, one, two, three. Perfect. Now, let's just do the math. Moles equal molarity 0 0.1500 times the liters 0 0.01500. This is going to tell me how many moles of oxalic acid I have. 
So 0.15 times 0 0.015 is 0 0.00225. And that's the moles of C2O4H2. So I'm just going to write that number down here just so that I can erase this. So this 22, whoop, 225 moles. Okay, so this is going bye-bye. Pause the video if you need to, but bye-bye. Now I'm going to use my stoichiometry and my dimensional analysis to go from moles of the oxalic acid to NaOH. We know this flow chart, right? It's this one. Grams to moles to moles to grams. But we don't have to do it that much here, or the full-blown thing, because we're starting at moles to begin with. So I don't need all of this. And I'm going to start with 0 0.00225 moles of oxalic acid, not A specifically in our case. So C2, oops, C2O4H2. And then I just need the moles of NaOH, right? Because I just need the moles in here to solve. So I don't even need this. I just need moles of NaOH. So it's a one-stepper. How easy is that, for this part at least? Start with what you're given, 0 0.00225 moles of C2O4H2. Make that ratio. This is all dimensional analysis. Put moles on the bottom, C2O4H2 on the bottom, and then the moles of the NaOH on the top, and a O H, right? Multiple relationships between different compounds is always the balanced equation. So you're just going back to your balanced equation and looking at your coefficients, aka the big numbers in the front, like this two, right? So that means that there's two moles of NaOH, so I'm going to put a two right next to the NaOH, but there was no number in front of the oxalic acid, so that means that there was one of them. So I just put a one down here. So basically, you're just timesing it by 2. So I got that number times 2. So I get 0 0.0045 moles of NaOH. That's now what this is. So I know what this is now. 0 0.00045 moles. And now we're ready to do the conversion. So liters which is the volume, equals the moles over molarity, 0 0.0045 divided by 0 0.3300. Let's see what we get. 0 0.3330. And I'm looking back at the question, and both of the, all three of these numbers have four sig figs. So technically we should have four sig figs, but to me, I don't care, right? I don't care about sig figs. But your teacher or professor may. So, yeah, four. Four sig figs. So 0 0.0136. And then we'll round the next one up. So that's a four. And this is liters. They were not specific in what they wanted, whether it was liters or milliliters. But if you need this number in milliliters, all you got to do is multiply by 1,000. So it would either be 0 0.01364 liters or uh, 13 0.64 uh, milliliters, right? One, two, three. Yeah, 13.64 milliliters. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing this video. I really hope it helped. Let me know in the comments, okay? Love helping you guys out. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And if you want to tell your friends or tell your classmates about this cool service, thank you so much for that. We also have physics and math videos on the channel as well. So go check it out. All right. Thank you. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.